Yo, this is Grayena Brianna. Today, I want to touch on how to survive social media, man. <laughs> I've been in the public eye for a minute now, and I really got to a space where I'm not as affected as a lot of people when it comes to social media. But it took me a minute to get to that space, right? So I'm going to give you guys some tools to use that work for me. And I challenge y'all to put this into practice, man. I know it's going to be hard for a lot of people. That's because we've been conditioned to complicate a lot of things. All right. So I challenge y'all to do this first thing, do a cleanup on your social media. Like in order to do a cleanup, you have to know what affects you, what drains you emotionally, mentally, spiritually, right? You have to start removing those people, people that's constantly being negative, people that complain about life all the time, but you see them putting no action toward correcting um, anything in their life that they claim to be a problem. If you cannot help them and they are not helpful to you, remove them. Another thing when it comes to the cleanup of social media, right? Follow people that align with where you're trying to go in life. Spaces that you desire to be in Like when you look at my social media Like some people yeah I follow You know under pressure uh, <laughs> I don't I don't really pay them That much mind but The things that consistently come across my timeline Is people who can help me Shift mentally uh, Comedians that put me in a Better space you know what I mean like people that do Like skits and it's just A very healthy Timeline and of course I follow some media outlets that reports the the latest news because it helps me stay connected, but I'm at the point where I can still stay grounded even through that type of news, but I don't follow every media outlet that I do not do. Um, but it is to still be kind of up to date and what's going on in the real world, but I be so much in my world that it doesn't affect me spiritually, emotionally, and mentally anymore. But you have to put certain things into practice in order to get in that space. Okay? So that's my timeline. It's like people who's motivating, people who challenge me in healthy ways, like give me something higher to aim for. That's what my timeline consists of. Also... You have to really, really get to know yourself, man. Like really spend way more time with yourself than you do on social media. You have to, okay? That way nobody else can tell you about you. Unless it's constructive criticism that's going to help you grow, you don't need to be tuning in to everybody's opinions, man. Stop reading every comment. Because if you notice, right, you could have a thousand compliments, under one post, you get one negative comment or one negative person that disagrees with you, not even negative person, but an opposing view of every, the, the, the rest of the thousand comments, that one tends to outweigh the thousand compliments. That one negative comment, that one opposing comments tend to outweigh all of the positive. So if you know you're that type of person, don't attached to any of it the the positive nor the negative you have to really start putting things like that into practice again getting to know yourself is going to be very important right and i'm talking about so honest with yourself even the things you don't like is like ah, i don't like this about myself you have to be raw and, and honest that way you even know what needs to be worked on in the first place but Get to know yourself, the, the ugly and the beautiful parts of you and start embracing that because that's what the world is going to highlight or try to highlight the most is the things that you don't like about yourself the most. So get familiar with those parts of you, man. Start embracing those parts of you. And if you feel like, you know, this is where you need to make adjustments, start working on that. But your opinion and how you feel about yourself should always outweigh the opinions and feelings um, that come from other people. So get to know yourself. It's going to be important. You're going to, you need to know when to disconnect from social media. Give it a break. Some people on there searching for lives and, or searching for validation. 
24-7. You have to, you don't even go to sleep. If it's 24-7, you don't even give yourself time to sleep. Like, you got to know when to disconnect and reconnect with yourself. And that's from everybody, period. Family, friends, all of their drama, taking care of everybody else, except for you. Like, you have to learn when to disconnect from everything, the entire world at times, all right? Another tool that I use, I understand that I cannot compare my reality to somebody else's highlights, man. For some reason, we have this like real bad where we compare where we at to where somebody else is at. And we don't understand that flowers grow at different speeds, man. You just have to keep watering yours. Don't worry about nobody else's flower. Don't focus on nobody else's flower. Attend to your garden. Okay, the grass is greener where you tend to care for it at, where you tend to water it at, where you tend to take care of it at. That's where the grass could be greener. And again, flowers grow at different speed. You have to be patient with yourself. If you're constantly moving toward things that you desire in life and you're brick by brick, you're building, your building might not get done quicker than somebody else's because you never know how long they've been at it. So to you, it might seem that way. But people have been at this for a minute it's no such thing as overnight success and anything that comes fast will be removed fast anyway. So try to do your best not to compare your reality to somebody else's highlight, man. It's not too many people that show you the entire process. Would that be dope? Yeah, could that give you something to, to, to really connect to? You know what I mean? To really connect with. So <sighs> it's just not... It's a very rare thing. It happens. It's just a very rare thing. All right. Start getting the reason why I feel like, okay, the reason why I wanted to make this video is because if you are pursuing anything that you are passionate about, everything is becoming visual nowadays. You're going to have to be in the public eye. So you're going to have to get grounded very soon because it's really a thing. And especially, I don't know if this has been everybody experience, but from my experience and what I've witnessed as well, like if you are black owned anything, right? People buy you before they buy what you're actually selling. So they need to get to know you. They need to connect with you on a different level. They need to know that you are a real person. So they're going to have to see you more. You're going to have to talk to people more. You know what I mean? Like everything is becoming visual, man. It's really hard to sell to me as a black owned anything without that. Per well, people buying it to the actual person versus what they the person is actually selling. That's just from my experience. I'm not generalizing this. That's from what I witnessed as well. So. You got to get familiar with social media. You got to get comfortable with social media. You got to get comfortable with, with showing yourself. And you have to be okay with the negatives and the positives because they work together. You know what I mean? Like everything could be all good because everything is all God. You just have to know how to use everything and take advantage of your advantages. And there's too many people that they don't want the negative that comes along with that. But anytime, any level that you, anytime you like level up in any shape or form, the opposing force is always going to be there. You know what I mean? Like my guy being there uses, y'all probably heard me say this like a million times, the car battery analogy. Like in order for that car to start, the battery has a negative and a positive end and they work together in order to start that car. This is how everything moves. So you're always going to have the opposing force. And every time that you say, look, I'm going to level up and I'm ready for this, God is going to test you. You will get tested. It's not a negative thing. It's not to break you. It's to get you ready to strengthen you for that next level. Because if you can't pass the test where you at, you're not ready to handle the next level because the opposing force is going to be even stronger. So you're going to get tested. It's like class, right? Like you can't maneuver through school and graduate without passing the class that you are in. So you have to learn how to pass those tests and prepare yourself for the opposing force that's going to take place on, a, on another level. Like, it's just different magnitudes of the same stuff. It doesn't change. It's just you get stronger in order to be able to really deal with 
life, if you want to level up in life, you have to understand that the opposing force is waiting to test you to see if you're ready for that next level. So social media is a tool that you should be using. It's not something that you should go to, to for validation. Um, you have to know and have faith in what God sent you here for. You're going to have people that's trying to deter you from that. Those are the opposing force. Those are the tests that you need to pass in order to get to the next level. Welcome to life, man. Welcome to the real world. <laughs> All right. So those are the tools that I use to maneuver social media, man. Everybody doesn't need a uh, reaction. Be mindful of where you place your energy because wherever you place your energy, that's what you're powering up. So you got to ask yourself these questions before you respond to anybody, right? Do I want to see this grow? If I don't see it growing, if I don't desire for this to grow, okay, why would I feed it? Whatever you feed grows, right? Whatever you water grows. So why would you power it up in any shape or form if you don't desire for that to grow? Acknowledge the people that's saluting you, cheering you on, motivating you, but don't attach to them neither. Okay? Always express gratitude regardless of what's going on. If it's something you don't like, be grateful that you're in a position to handle it. That you're in a position that you can respond and not react. And responding, the best response is no response a lot of the times. Okay? So those are my tools that I use to maneuver social media. Y'all should give it a try, man. Let me know how it works for you. And good luck. <laughs> Blessings. God got you, though. No worries. Strengthen your relationship with God. Don't worry about everybody else. God got you, all right? <laughs>